As the temperatures warm up, the snow starts to melt. That's all good. And while it's something we all look forward to, it's also something a lot of waterside communities need to prepare for. The spring flooding season is just about here. Lots of people holding their breath for what may come. So what are communities along the St. Croix River doing to prepare today? Bab Santos joins us live from Stillwater tonight. Babs, that's the question asked around town today. Will it flood? And if so, what do we do about it? Yeah, Randy, and you can see some of the preparation work already behind me, but this is just the start of what's going to be a busy week down here in downtown Stillwater as they try to keep this water back. I think we've got a really strong community here, so it is great to see that people are willing to put in the work to protect it. The stage is set for volunteers with Stillwater's community thread to get to work on Monday morning, sandbagging parking lots downtown in hopes of keeping the St. Croix River at bay this spring. It is absolutely fantastic. We are so grateful to have so many community volunteers and the city working to protect the business and the whole of Stillwater. Over a week, more than 250 people will take turns sandbagging in between the river and the area of the River Market Community Co-op. It's exciting to see everyone who's come out to help with this effort. Um, and it really shows that people value, uh, you know, these Main Street businesses. Well, if they didn't do that, then we would have problems. So I appreciate it a lot. Next door at the Daily Grind Espresso Cafe, owner Megan Palm has seen plenty of floods outside her business over the last few decades. Usually every few years. This year is no different, with parking lots closed down indefinitely to prepare for a surge in water. For them, a small price to pay to keep the water at bay. Downtown Stillwater in a whole does a really good job at keeping the water at bay. And as of this week behind me, the Stillwater lift bridge is now closed to pedestrian traffic because of the river levels. Live in Stillwater, Bab Santos, Fox 9.